Hey folks, I got the Sony Bloggy, the PM5 today, and I noticed that it really didn't have a wide angle lens. Uh, I did have an old wide angle lens from my uh, my old camcorder around. So what I did is I made a uh, way to attach my wide angle lens, so you can see it. There's a couple of Nerf darts in there, some duct tape, uh, an old thing that was pretty much uh, the proper flat surface, okay? And there's a little cowl here that I built. Um, and there's a couple of other Nerf darts here underneath this. Uh, pull that away so you can see it a little better. There's a couple Nerf darts underneath here as spacers so that the bloggy lens lines up with the, uh, the wide angle lens. And uh, I'm going to go outside and show you um, the difference between the wide angle lens and the non wide angle lens on some scenery. All right, so I'm going to stop here. All right, the uh, the light's a little low out here, so you might not be able to see too well. It might be a little blurry, but uh, anyway, this is the the Fulton uh, Waukesha Township Fire Department building, and this is without the wide the wide angle cover, which is right here. Yep, and so that's without, and that's with wide angle lens. No wide angle lens. So you got a lot more scenery in with a little wide angle cover lens. And you know, all for a bit of duct tape, things like that. All right, I hope this helps out a few people. And if you have questions, let me know and I can help you build your own. Uh, catch you later. Bye. Well, that was my wide angle lens uh, unit here, like this. And I'm actually going to make a, a more uh, modular one that I can switch various lenses in, in and out of so I can have different uh, wide angle or teles telescopic lenses and um, telephoto lenses. Um, I'll let you guys know while I do that. I also want to build one eventually that lets me you know, use the, the bloggy in more than one position. But this one there's really only one position. You basically have to lay the bloggy in flat and then it looks out through here. Um, but that's not so bad. I'm also going to add to either this one or the next version uh, a tripod mount so that I can actually mount it to a tripod and a little bit better stabilization so that the camera doesn't fall out of the tripod, obviously. Alright, I will catch you guys later and uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look. Bye.